was a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, I literally have the capabilities of a second year student. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one day we went to the Centre Pompidou, uh, the Centre Pompidou, and it was the Modern and Contemporary Art Museum. And I really like modern art. And not so much. I'm not a fan of contemporary art. Um, there was this one artist that did things in blue and it just seemed very, um, I don't know, like, I don't, art that, I don't know. I don't know if it had a meaning behind it or not, but it's not my favorite floor at all. But I did some interesting selfies. <laughs> I took some interesting selfies there. So maybe I'll put them here. <laughs> They're super funny. Um, laughing at my own selfies. And okay, so I saw a lot of Picasso things and I know that you studied Picasso um, in our French class junior year. And I think you would really appreciate them. Um, they had a really nice like selection there. Next, we went to the Orangerie, and this is most famous for hosting Monet's Water Lilies in a three-panel room, which is a really interesting room. Um, it was in the movie Midnight in Paris, which is like one of the best movies ever, in my opinion. Yes, I, I love that movie. You should watch it. Um, <laughs> and to be honest, that was my least favorite museum. I really liked the water lilies like room and and thing room yeah um but their collection of art downstairs of the impressionist art was not very satisfying in my opinion because not because they weren't like major works of art that's fine but i just think that the i mean just because an artist is famous does that mean that all of their works are valuable because I feel like a lot of the things that they had there were maybe an artist's, um, like Renoir's early, early works. And I feel like they were not half finished, but I just don't think that they compared as well as their, as his other famous pieces of art, I guess. Um, my favorite museum was the Musée d'Orsay, which is the biggest impressionist housing, I guess, and literally every work that of art that we studied in that French class, junior year, was in that museum. It was wonderful. I could spend all day in that museum, and we spent a really long time there, and I tried to look at every single thing, and I got pretty close, actually, um, but I did, I think I did look at every single painting. Um, maybe not the sculptures, but I was mainly there for the paintings, and I really liked it. Um, of course, the Van Gogh room was the most busy, it was the most popular, um, but there are so many pieces of art that are overlooked because they're not as famous, um, and I do get why the really big popular ones are popular. They really are wonderful, and a lot of the, like, the reason why they're famous is because they pioneered a new movement, right? They found new ideas and new ways to, um, like, express their art and their feelings. So I really appreciated that. In my opinion, the Louvre was, um, so here are my thoughts on the Louvre. It is huge. There's three different little branches of the museum, and I honestly feel like you could make each branch its own museum because it's huge. And we only had like a few, like three or four hours to spend in the Louvre, which sounds like a lot of time, but really is not. 
So we saw, and this, this like huge museum houses so many different, um, so many different like things. It has Greek sculptures, um, French art, Italian art, um, Egyptian art, and it's all very, very, very old stuff. Um, of course I saw the Mona Lisa. I did not take a picture of it. Very proud of myself. No, but <laughs> it was very crowded, um, pretty small, and I don't know. I think it was kind of overrated. I don't know, maybe. But my favorite part of the museum was definitely the huge um, French artwork. The huge pieces of French art. I don't know. Um, and I think my favorite was La Liberté Guidon Le Peuple, or um, <laughs> my French, <laughs> or um, or the Raft of Medusa. I forgot what was that. What was that called in French? I don't know. But um, there was this like tour guide that was nearby, and he was explaining the two different art, um, the two different works. And we like listened in, and I really liked his analysis of the work. And I think that knowing the meaning behind the art makes it so much more um, meaningful, I guess. It makes it so much more enjoyable for me. So I really liked hearing that. And of course we saw the big, um, the coronation of Napoleon, which is also housed at Versailles. So interesting fact. There is rarely, there's like barely any differences between the two, except in the second one, the Versailles one, um, one of the sisters who is, the sisters are all um, in blue dresses on the left of the painting. So one of the sisters is wearing a pink dress in the one in Versailles, and that is because um, the artist, David, um, he fell in love, Louis David, um, Louis David. <laughs> um, the artist fell in love with this girl, with a sister, and he wanted her to stand out, so that's why he painted her with a pink dress in the second copy. And um, another interesting fact is that the artist, in order to paint the people more realistically, he had to, um, he wanted to paint them all nude first, and then Put clothing on them. So I think that's really interesting. Um, all of the people in the coronation of Napoleon, they're all naked and then he draws, um, he like paints clothing. And that must have taken a really long time, I mean obviously, but it's crazy. Um, lastly it was Sacre Coeur. Um, we saw these people playing instruments and it was really interesting. I didn't know what they were doing. They were playing like they were like blowing like elephant horns, maybe? I don't know. And then two last things. Um, this is my favorite subway station in Paris. It's the Art and Metier um, subway station. It was really interesting because it totally like matched the name of it, right? Like Art and Metier. Um, it looks like the like copper, I guess, or it to me it really looks like a submarine. And I thought that was super fun. So when you go to Paris, you should totally like. Tell me which stops you like the best. I mean, they're not really different. Like, none of them are really different from another, um, except that one. And then another one had really cool lights. So I guess it's a little different, but yeah. And lastly, if you go to Paris, you should definitely go to this department store. Um, not Gallery Lafayette, which is super expensive, but you should go there too. Um, it was called BHV Marais. 
and it's in the neighborhood of Marais, which is um, like a like a Jewish quarter, I think. And this was like the most amazing experience ever. I we spent like three hours in there um, in the morning. We went from like nine to twelve. <laughs> And we just like looked at every single floor and the second floor was my favorite because they had like stationery, super cute stationery, and they had like art supplies, school supplies, and like just really really cute things there. And we bought we bought this. Stabilo. These are some of my favorite pens. And it like rolls out like this. And I've never seen this packaging before, they don't have it in the US, because Sibilo is from Germany, which you probably know, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to use these in college. Yay. So that's it for this video. Um, please respond to me. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Um, but yeah, that was my Europe trip. Look out for the blog post. Okay. Bye.